Hey guys, welcome back for more Tales of Vesperia. Last time we got all the way to Dayton Hold after leveling up a bit. And uh, we went around and did a couple of things, learned about skills. And now we are going to talk to this dog. Woof. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to move on, try to get through here. What's going on? That doesn't look good. People are running. And the gate is closing. Hurry, get inside! The gate's closing! Arrows, bring the arrows! Shut the gate now! Damn it! What are they doing here this time of the year? The monsters will fall back if we stop the main charge. Remember your training! Go, mighty arrows of doom! Oh, little kid is frightened. Okay, they're all in! Close it up! They're not all in! Hold the gate! There's still more! Uh oh. That's not good. Two little kids out there. Monsters? We just left the capital and things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed, I know it. <laughs> <gasps> the gate! Oh, go repeat! <sighs> what the hell? Cut it out! Go repeat! He's stopping the gate. They left the teddy bear. Oh, I skipped that. Sorry. Let go of me. You wait here. Run, Yuri, run. Save the doll. So much for keeping a low profile. Yuri. Uh oh. Epic slide. It looked like he hit his head on it. <laughs> they run into the door. How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. <laughs> nothing, right. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. Yep, yeah, go repeat. <laughs> I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier blastia here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the Blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. You two there. I'd like to have a word with you. So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? Yes. That's a big sword. Stop! Okay. Stay out of this! You knights cheated us out of a job back there! And now, we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. Great, we'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor and we're so close. 
Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. Well, that was quite a long scene. Oh, and look, quite a scene! We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> okay, well, let's go see what they want. Can I? Oh, okay, they got nothing. They say nothing. Anyways, uh, head over here now, and we get this scene. You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. Shunned. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Owned, owned. Watch your mouth. You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? They're way too calm with all those monsters see, out there. I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. <laughs> Repeat is not having any of it. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Or we can do it later on in the game. woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. Sweet. Option for the future. Yawn. I, I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! Oh. Yes, we are going to head around. Oh, the guilds. Hopefully we have enough time here. That woman who gave us directions, she said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man, giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the knight's protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. <laughs> um, okay, there's a couple of items in this place. I think there's one down here somewhere. Oh, yep, there we go. Magic lens. Uh... 
No, don't. No, just leave that there. I'm full of magic lenses, so I can't pick up any more. So might as well just leave it. And if I come back here again, I can pick it up later. Do you have anything to say? Um, I sort of hinted at it before, but the Lord of the Plains is actually a monster we... It's actually an optional boss we'll fight later on in the game. There's several Gigantos monsters that uh, we are able to kill later on in the game, and doing so will give us some awesome secrets, but those monsters are really, really tough, and we'll probably not even get to them for a long, long time. Anyways, we're out of time for this episode. Sorry, it was mainly all cinematic and side like, story stuff, but next time we're going to move on to the Koi Woods, so I'll see you guys then.